There is a significant risk of eruption uh, within a day or two or not more than a week. We see the thermos chart, the tectonic charts shows that the deep in the uh, tremors and then sudden rise. And when we look at the depth of the earthquakes from that other chart, you can see that this every circle shows the earthquake. And when they are moving upward, the, there is a chance that the magma is following that near the surface. When it reaches the surface, it erupts. Magma is a fluid. It moves through the cracks when the earthquake opens up the ground and it rises with it. You can see that it is somewhere concentrated between the Grindavik and the uh, um, Swartzengi, and it will most likely will be in the north of the uh, Hagofel. You can see we have a slowdown of the uh, uplift in the Swartzengi, Thornbjorn and uh, uh, Elfdorp also. You can see this, and this shows the addition of the magma in that area is reduced because the magma is now depleted taken through the seal toward the, where the dike is and vertically rising to the surface. This is the uplift we see to the left. This is Swartzengi. Then it goes down, it slows down. The magma means it's transferring through the seal toward the dike to the right. And when it is going through that, eruption is imminent. You saw it in the earthquake uh, 3D model I showed you. And now you can see it, a cartoon which shows this also. We know that this pattern exists in the previous eruptions, and now it is repeating itself again. The dike will transfer the magma upward, erupts as lava. This is Iceland we are talking about, Reykjanes Peninsula. The locations are there. I believe the first eruption, most likely place, is the north of the Hagofell. I'll mark it here for you. You can see that. North of the Hagofell is the first area. This is slightly to the northeast of the uh, Grindavik. As you can see here, the first one. Then the southern part of it is slightly, and the northern part of it. Some uh, small chance in the within the Swartzengi, and then a little bit also toward the sea we may have. You can see it again. Hagofell is the first one. Then the second one is slightly toward the Grindavik. Then northward toward the Sundunka within the Swartzengi and also within the sea we may have some eruption. The moment it slides through the ground, through the dike coming up, we will see the eruption happening. It will be fast, quick. The pressure gets relieved by the pushing of the magma upward. After that, it will slow down like what we saw in the Hagofer Grindavik eruption in January. This is going to happen. This is the ongoing situation. I will keep you updated on that. And you can uh, actually uh, see on the minutes how it's happening.